Welcome to the fall 2022 semester. I hope your students turn in their assignments on time and your papers all grade themselves. Now, a week before we kicked off the 2022 fall semester, we unveiled the largest building project in college history. And it's safe to say the Plaster Manufacturing Center was a big hit. Here's a look back on the highlights from the grand opening event. Welcome to the Robert W. Plaster Center for Advanced Manufacturing. It is not an understatement to say this is a game-changing day in the history of the college. 120,000 square feet, millions of dollars of advanced technology, a facility built to be toured, and one of the things we heard loud and clear is we need to make people understand manufacturing is clean, safe, cool, well-paid, and modern. And that's what we're here to do today. At the event, Chancellor Higdon announced that DT Engineering out of Lebanon would be the first occupant of the 15,000 square foot industry partner space, and they'll take up occupancy on October 1st. A week after the PMC opened, thousands of students poured into our campuses and online classrooms. Here are some highlights from the opening week of classes for the fall semester. For the past five years, OTC's Veterans Upward Bound program has helped hundreds of student veterans get into college and ready them to be successful. Now the VUB will be able to help even more people. The program received a new five-year round of funding on September 1st, and while the initial grant just covered Greene County, the new grant can help any veteran in Southwest Missouri. And that will be a game changer for the program and for our veterans, whether they want to attend OTC or another college. We essentially help veterans prepare and be successful in college. So whether that's admissions, whether financial aid, finding out how to pay for college, and then also additional academic support. So we want them to do well once they're in the classroom. Esports is back in a big way. After debuting in the middle of the spring semester, the esports lab was packed on the first day of school. Students can compete in four different games, Super Smash Brothers, League of Legends, Rocket League, and Valorant. This year, besides the varsity squad and rec play time, the college has added a club team for students who may not be enrolled full time or can't make the commitment, but still want to engage in competitive video gaming. We really are trying to make this as, as inclusive as possible. So we know that a lot of our students, they're not taking the full time credit hours that they need to be part of that competitive scene. The club side is kind of, hey, I want that taste. I want to be on a team. I want to have some fun, you know, maybe less stressful game interaction. We've got a lot of opportunities no matter where students are at. We are all going to be at the Springfield Expo Center on Tuesday, October 4th for College Development Day. We're back in person for the first time since 2019. We'll kick things off at 845. You'll get breakfast, hear from college leadership, and that Saturday you can head down to the Richwood Valley campus for the annual Physical Therapist Assistant 5K at 530. Afterwards is the RVC Fall Festival with a chili dinner, desserts, a bonfire, and a honky-tonk band. That's October 8th at Richwood Valley. That's going to do it for September's Around the College. We leave you with some of the photos from the opening week of school. Enjoy the photos, and until next time, I'll see you around the college.